Hi everybody, it's me again with another tutorial for you. Um, today it's going to be half of two mods, and uh, half of two mods are fairly simple to install. Uh, first thing you really need to do is go find your mod, and you can do that uh, in two different ways. You can actually go to mod DB, and you can uh, go to PC, then mods, and then uh, you would just look for any kind of mod you would like. Um, uh, but not every game has mods. Uh, the two games that have the uh, most mods, I would say, is Half-Life 2 with the Source Engine and BF2. Um, and th th those are the two games that I would say have the, m uh, have the most amount of mods. Um, the second way you would find the mod is, well, if you actually knew the name of the mod, you can just go look for it right away. And uh, in my case, it's Zombie Panic Source. And here uh, I have I am on the website, and I do download, and then I pick the latest uh, version. Well, I've done that already, okay. And uh, here it is, just my desktop. Here's the installer for Zombie Panic Source, and then here's the uh, the rare file. And just for clarification, this rare file is of my own creation because Zombie Panic Source didn't come as a rare file; only comes in in an installer. And uh, well. For a lot of like old mods, it's gonna be a zip file. So, I mean, if you get into this situation, you'll know what to do. Uh, for the installer, uh, just keep pressing next. Um, it'll pretty much put in the path that you need it to be. Don't change any of that stuff because it might not work because of that. Uh, it might. I've never tried it, but I'm pretty sure, like 100%, that it does not work if you change the path to something other than what it's supposed to be. But in uh in the situation that your uh, that the uh, mod is a zip is in a zip file, you would have to uh, right right click on the zip file, which is ZPS right here, and then extract to ZPS. Uh, don't do extract here because then you would have to make your own folders and you know blah 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 blah. And uh, just do extract to ZPS. Okay. So after you've done all of that, well after you've extracted it anyway, uh, now you're gonna have to put it in the right place. You can go to my computer. Local disk C and C drive, uh, program files. Scroll down to Steam. Then you do Steam Maps. Oh, Steam Maps. Source mods. And then here's where you put uh, your folder. And it's, it says ZPS. And here you have it all done here. Now, then you go into Steam. And then, whoa, what happened? I want to see the mod in, in the games list. Okay, well, you have to restart Steam for it to show up. So uh, don't forget to do that. Okay, and then you go into the game, and then you're just like, and you click on a server that has like, uh, and you want to play. You click on a server, and it says uh, the server's using different models or s stuff like that. That means that you don't have the same version as the server. And sometimes, even though you might. You know, you know that you did the uh, you did the latest version. Some servers choose to stay behind on the o on an older version. Um, God knows why. Uh, you know, I, I have no idea. But uh, that happens to to me sometimes too. When I was playing Synergy, uh, they were stuck on like 1.1, 1 .1 and I'm a, I was on like like 1.6 or something like that. And basically, I couldn't get into the server, so I just downloaded 1.1. 1 .1, I got in, had fun. Okay, and an some other things too. Uh, some mods require Half-Life 2 Deathmatch to play. Half-Life 2 is not enough. You have to have Half-Life 2 Deathmatch for some mods, like Synergy. I know Synergy, I think, needs Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. So uh, if you don't have Half-Life 2, have Half -Life 2 Deathmatch, uh, you can go get it. Uh, Last time I checked, it was ten dollars. Maybe it'll be a little bit uh, less now. Uh, maybe five, you know, five, five to ten. That's that's pretty much the range. It's 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 a pretty cheap game, but I have one complaint about it. I never play it. So you have to really think. Uh, would you would you do you think ten or five dollars is worth to play a mod? And then you have this like random game in your my games list that you never play. It's like getting a Wii and never playing it, like me. Um, but you know, whatever, right? You'll you'll do it, right? Okay. And then 
this other thing that I have to tell you, uh, this is pretty much, um, well, I'd have to say they fixed it, I think. Um, they either fixed it in Steam or they fixed it, um, like, like, cause old mods used to do this, where, uh, if you had the Game of the Year edition of Half-Life 2, and you'll know when, when, uh, when you have the Game of the Year edition, cause it came with Half-Life 2, Counter-Strike Source, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, and Half-Life Source. So that's the Game of the Year edition. Older mods, if you want to download older mods, like, uh, I think Dystopia, um, I think Plan of Attack was, uh, or maybe that was just, well, anyway, anyway, older mods, uh, older mods have this problem where if you have the Game of the Year edition, you'll not see any servers in the Find server, uh, when you click Find server in-game. In and so you would have to fix something in your game info dot txt. So uh, so I mean you didn't see that. And uh, so if you have that problem, just search on their forums or make your own thread. Uh, it should be there. But if it's not, give me a PM. I I could help you maybe. Um, so uh, that's uh, that's my tutorial basically. You didn't see that. Uh, that's my tutorial. And uh, I hope you learned a lot about making Half-Life 2 mods. It's really a simple process. If you have any questions or concerns or compla complaints, please contact me, PM me, do whatever. Uh, I'll be sure to uh, respond back as quickly as, as I can. And that's pretty much, uh, as quickly as I can is pretty much um, within an hour of you sending it to me. Uh, but not if it's like in the morning. Because I wake up really late and then I have to go to school and you know, whatever. But anyway, anyway, um, if you have any questions, please contact me. I'll respond. Thank you. Goodbye.